Good evening mga Kasiloy, here are today's top stories in Cebu Daily Newscast this Thursday, May 30, 2024. For our main story, the completion rights on the school in Marigondon, Lapu-Lapu City, which was held at 3 a.m., caught the public's interest on Wednesday, May 29. However, there was a reason for it. Darvin Villas, the school principal, explained through an interview with a local TV station yesterday afternoon that the completion rights schedule had to be changed multiple times due to several reasons. Villas said that their school has initially set June 7 for the completion rights, but due to the memorandum from the Department of Education which mandated schools to finish all school activities before June, it was changed. Then they had a problem with the venue as the Hoops Dome was already booked by a private school which fortunately agreed to have their own completion rights scheduled at dawn. Meanwhile, robbers struck once again in Cebu, this time killing a middle-aged livestock trader and taking off with half a million pesos in the Manhook town, southern Cebu on Thursday, May 30. The victim, identified as Leonardo Mahario, 51 years old, a livestock trader, was a resident of Barangay Canyupo, Dumanhu. He was found dead beside his parked motorcycle along the road in said barangay with multiple half wounds on his head. Police in the Manhug Binio, Makaria was ambushed, killed, and then robbed, citing the presence of a fell log blocking the road. The victim's 24-year-old son, Jericho Makario, reported the crime to the police. In other news, the Cebu City Council has approved an additional budget of 65 million pesos for the rehabilitation and renovation of the Cebu City Sports Center for the city's hosting of the 2024 Palakampan Bansadas July. Initially, the executive department had requested an additional 74 million, but only 65 million pesos was granted. It can be recalled that acting mayor Raymond Alan Garcia questioned the need for an additional 74 million pesos to buy benches for the grandstand. Garcia said that he would review this expense and noted that the CCFC grandstand can already accommodate about 12,000 people. And finally, in entertainment, actress Maxine Magdalena shared a short but powerful line in her lengthy Instagram post about the hotly debated divorce bill. The online discussions have sparked mixed reactions, with some supporting the bill and others strongly opposing it. Today, actress and yoga instructor Maxine expressed her stance, saying it is important to walk away from things that weigh a person down. Maxine said that walking away from toxic relationships that are detrimental to one's mental health should be an option for everyone, and saying that marriage is a risk and does not guarantee a long-lasting relationship. These are the hottest news that you need to know this Thursday evening, mga Kasiloy. Get the full story at cdn.ph and follow the social media at cdn digital. Stay safe and have an enjoyable evening, mga Kasiloy.